All right, here we are. That's the fire rated wall. And now we have this. Three and five eight steel stud assembly. A lot of interference. A lot of interference. And then it meets the wood partition. And it's braced. I didn't have tap guns, so I used an old carpenter trick. Drill a hole, stick in a piece of 14 gauge wire. You have to have the, the coating on it and you use a drywall screw and it is solid. And this is a floating stud because after it's insulated in Super 6 and drywall passes, then this marries to the side of the, uh, the other partition, locking in the corner. So yeah, yeah, we got some trickery coming up around this shit. Here's a little trick. Put a couple of blocks up here. Because these new boots they sell don't come with the uh, the angles on them where you can screw a, uh, like the diffusion piece in. Nothing to screw to here, so I fabricated a piece of 3 and 5 eighths stud. Screwed it in, perfect. Bulkhead will be made out of one by two, or commonly known as 20 gauge l track right across, nice and clean, nice and tight. And what's, hey, there's my apprentice. There's my apprentice, hey, he's pretty good. I've had apprentices that I've had to fire after half a day. But I'm keeping this guy on, probably because he lives here. So that's what's going on. This is what you do when the writers, and the uh, actors decided to go on strike. Now the writers are back, big deal. It's actually day 155 of the strike. So if you have the skill, which I do have, I'm certified carpenter, I became a foreman at 24, site super at 30, and a PM uh, at, uh, what was I? I guess I was 40. Went on to build some great, big, beautiful things. A big expense, of course. Anyway, that's it. I thought I'd share that with you. So here we go. Wide over, never out.